Hi, we're going to uh, do some mapping with the ID OSM map editor. And so we're going to work on project 660, do some mapping in the Monrovia area. So I select the project. That's called a project. The individual squares are called tasks. I can basically work on any task I want as long as it's not green. Green means this one's been done and reviewed. Um, and the orange ones mean they've been done and they're waiting for somebody to review. So if you're not comfortable or familiar with reviewing tasks, you'd probably leave those alone too. So we're going to pick one of these small tasks that needs some mapping. Clicking on the task brings up some instructions. It looks like somebody's already worked on this one, but I'm going to work on it right now. So I say start mapping, and that reserves this square. And then I say, I'm going to, I, normally I would edit with JASM, but in this case I'm going to say I want to edit with the ID editor. And this opens up the ID editor. And I'm going to just reset. I have no idea what other changes I had. And this one can definitely use a little bit of editing. And I'm not going to do very much because we're really just trying to cover a couple of things here. And editing in Monrovia is difficult. So the first thing that got brought up was background settings. So it loaded the Bing aerial imagery by default. And so if I want to switch to the map box, I would just click on map box. And Mapbox doesn't have anything at this zoom level. That's what these X's mean. So if I zoom out a little bit, pretty soon Mapbox should fill in. Pretty soon Mapbox should fill in. Okay, there's Mapbox filled in. It's pretty far zoomed out. This is still pretty useful. Mm, this is still pretty useful. Um, but it looks like we're going to be using we'll be using the Bing imagery here. And you can see a little bit, you know, potentially this is misaligned. You can see that this is not really lined up very well with that building, so I would probably have to do some alignment if I was going to use this map box imaging. But I'm probably not, because it's not, certainly not for outlining buildings is it the best option, even though the Bing imagery is very low contrast. So it's a challenge. It's challenging imagery, that's for sure. So I'm just going to outline a building real quick using ID here, just to sort of go through the steps. Uh, looking at this, you can see this is aligned pretty well. This mapping isn't the world's greatest mapping, but this is aligned pretty well. So I don't have to worry about any of the background. This is done very well. This one, I don't, um, this is, I'm not too sure what this is about, but the alignment, for the most part, looks pretty good. And, yeah, these buildings are just tough to map because this imagery is difficult to use. You'll get used to looking at it after a while. I can see this is a this looks like a reasonably straightforward building to me. They're patchwork quilts. The roofs are a lot of times patchwork quilts because they get repaired. So I'm going to say that I need to make an area. And I'm going to start in, you know, you start in a corner can kind of go by the shadow so you generally want to try and find what is the clearest longest edge to go by so it looks to me like this is the start here so I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna do my long edge here and I don't know I would say it probably comes to about here and you want to try and draw the squarest square that you possibly can. Um, or, you know, the rectangle with the squarest corners, I mean to say. And then a double click on that same spot gets you out of the drawing a building phase. Okay, and now this is highlighted, this is selected, and it's asking me to go ahead and, you know, put some tags on it. So this is the slightly confusing part. One click on building, then brings up what a list of what type of building. And you can see these are 
These icons here are colored in a little bit, and I really don't know what type of building this is. Uh, so we're just going to mark it as a generic building, which means I'm going to come down here and select the building. And that went ahead and marked it as just building equals yes. And I don't have to fill any of this in. I'm basically done. After I did building, building, I'm basically done. But uh, the one last step that I need to do is I need to come over here and click on my building. And then this is the square the corners. This will square my corners. You want to square the corners of every building you draw, if it's a square building. If it's basically a square building or a rectangle or made up of rectangles, you generally want to do this square the corners after you're all done. So you can see I drew a pretty good, pr pretty, a lot of nice right angles, but it definitely straightened it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to click off and take a look here. And you know, you can move it around a little bit if you want. Click on it and then move it to make sure and you know you kind of look and see if it's really covering the whole building there and I I think it does I think it does I think this I think it's pretty good I think yeah I think that this part over here is just shadow I think this gets it pretty good I think this part right here is just shadow I don't think that that's building I think that's just shadow so I think that one's done and so now I would come and draw another building. And this one is very hard to see. That one's hard to see. I don't, this street here is, I mean, this looks like a building to me. I don't know why these streets are here. Maybe this imagery is slightly out of alignment. Or these streets were drawn. You see how this street seems to go right through buildings? And the street probably is really right here instead of through these buildings. So, but here it looks pretty good. I don't know why this street goes through this building, honestly. I don't, um, it could be an image alignment issue. It could be that it got drawn with a different image alignment, but it definitely, this street definitely looks off because it looks like it goes right through this tree and right through this building and it looks like it should really go here. So a lot of it, a lot of the rest of this street looks fine. Uh, this is a little bit off. Okay, for now I'm just going to pick a different building. And I keep coming back to this building, but this building is very, this is just tough. It's just a tough area to map. So I guess I'm going to, I, I guess I'm going to map this building. So, you know, I'm doing another area, and just like we did last time, you know, you start in the corner, and you try and draw the full length of the building. This looks to me like it goes to right here. Oh, it's really hard to see. The Monrovia, uh, for me, it's a super big challenge. And again, you want to draw your rectangle as square as possible right off the bat, and then click twice in the same spot as square as possible right off the bat. You're going to square it up when you're all done, but you generally want to do it as square as you possibly can. The goal is to have the squaring process make almost no changes. So now you see over here, there's a building up here at the top. This is the building you clicked on last time. And if you look carefully, you can see there's stuff stacked underneath it. And that's what brought us our list of options. If we clicked on it again, we'd get the same list of options. But this is basically the last one that you used. So this is a building building or building equals yes. So now I only need to click on it one time. One click and it's been labeled a building properly. I don't have to fill any of this out. Now I'm just going to click on it again and do square and have it do my adjustments and I'm going to move on. I'm, I'm going to look, you know, th I always do this moving thing to just double check and I am pretty sure that this is drawn correctly. But it's hard to tell, you know, it's hard to tell what's right in here. But I think this building, I think the edge of the building is right there. And I think this is the edge of the building. I think this building's drawn correctly. And that's it. Now, I'm going to draw one more building here. So I'm going to save these. I'm going to save these. And this is, since I don't have anything mistagged, I get my commit message. And it says outlined a few buildings. But they told us what the commit message they wanted us to use was. 
and I don't remember it. <laughs> um, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what the best workflow is for that, but I guess you should copy and paste it before you click on Edit with ID, or maybe for you it opens it in a different window. I have some settings on my browser that I think just force everything to always open in the same window. So in theory, you'd be able to switch back and get the right set. So I'm just going to say I know that this is, um, you know, this is um, hot um, open street map, and this is uh, project. Uh, 660 project number 660 and it's mapping Monrovia and um, and you know my my source is Bing imagery so that's how I'm going to fill out my commit message and I'm going to click on save and that one's saved, and now my buildings are there. So let's draw one real quick. I'm going to draw an area. I'm, I'm not going to save this, so I'm not really outlining anything. But I'm going to call, you know, I'm going to call that a building. And I'm not going to tag it. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say save. And now I get my, my untagged warning thing here. So you can see if I roll over it, it gets highlighted here. You'll see this gets highlighted. See how it it changes color to s sort of highlight it. That happens over here when I roll over this. You can see it gets highlighted. So then if I click on it, it gets selected and then it gives me back my options so I could tag this thing as a building if I wanted to. And then of course I would I would click on it and I would say square and I would save it. But I'm not going to do that. In this instance, I'm just going to trash this thing. Okay. So now I have nothing to save. And I hope that answers your questions for, you know, getting started with the ID editor in Monrovia here. Thanks. Bye-bye.